everybody, this is Lady G from the G List, and I got a couple of lovely young ladies that you are probably already familiar with because they show the show of <laughs> Bad Girls Club season eight. We got the Victor twins, Gabby and Danny. Wait, wait, wait. Um, can we go back? Can we just say we have the stars of season eight? Thanks. What did I say? We just said we have girls from season eight. Now oh. it's the stars. No, I said we're show the show. Which one? I said we show the show. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff and vibing off each other. I said, because you know, that's the reason why people love y'all. So, and hate us. they do want me to say they're the stars. I did say they stole the show too. So, we're going to say both of them. The stars who stole the show. And then we stole it all the way back to so doing it. Yes. I like them apples. And they probably Cheers. ran the reunion. So, this is coming out before the reunion, but I would guess they ran it. About the time you spent in the Bad Girls Club, like I said, y'all pretty much stole the show because, you know, for better or for worse, everybody was looking to that uh, episode where you guys got to that major fight. But other than that, how was your entire experience? How did you feel being in this uh, house with seven girls? I mean, overall, the experience was good, but you definitely need the regrets. Like, I should have done this, I should have done that. I wish I didn't do this, you know, but. It's just everything happens so fast, but yet so slow and So it's like, by the time you leave, there's something you can really do. So it's like, oh shit, I wonder how they're going to do it. I don't lie, after like two days, I called my dad and I was like, where are you from home? Like, it was just too much. And I'm very home by it. I've never been away from home. So I was in Vegas, and then the second you walk into the house, there's a camera guy like right here. Like, you don't see him, but he's literally in your face trying to get, like, your expression. You're like, take it back. And you're like, you get this shit's Even when the camera person on you, every room has. Corners, uh, cameras at every corner. Like, you'll be singing the same songs. We would, like, we'd come up with a random songs. Like, we came up with a whole new SpongeBob song, and they didn't air, which yeah. totally sucks. Obviously, oh, but, uh, yeah. yeah, but we came up with, like, our own little rap. The only thing they did do is we did, like, that little freestyle with professionals where we were, like, doing riddles and, like, making up our own lines. It's, like, the only thing we did. But, like, every time we were turning on cameras around us, we would either be over the top of the ring, so we'd be, they'd leave us alone, or we'd start singing songs. You hate it when you're there, but then when you come home, you're like, I kind of miss that shit, you know? Like, get filmed 24-7, and, like, the excitement of being on TV and everybody watching you is a good feeling. And now, like, we're almost to the finale. we got two episodes left, and then Bad Girls Club 8 is done. That's why I tell Bad Girls Club 9 girls, hold on to that shit, because it'll be gone faster than you know it. Exactly. It's, like, so fast. Like, a year ago, we were, like, going to try Fortunately, we're twins, so like, we're lucky. But you girls only have one of yourselves. <laughs> so what were some of the apprehensions you had about going into the club? Because I'm sure you probably watched seasons before, so you know there's going to be fighting, fake friends, there's going to be, you know, probably some little scum that's trying to get at you. Yeah. Were there any apprehensions saying, like, I hope this doesn't happen to me, or I hope I don't get drunk, or whatever? I mean, I knew I was going to get my hat I called her. The first episode, did I not say, Danny, you're going to get your ass beat. I'm going to have to jump in and try to save your ass. I called it. Do you think it's because you two were twins and you would be the immediate targets or something? No, well, I just I feel like if we went in separately, it would have been totally different than being there together. Okay. I think that we were the targets. Even though we had friends, so-called friends in the beginning, we were the targets. Nobody liked that shit from the beginning. Like, no matter what they did, no matter what they said, we always had each other. But at the end of the day, these girls could have flipped on each other and been like one on one or by themselves the entire time. So no matter what, we were the targets. Just people didn't have the balls to say anything to our face. You know. So let's just say, out of all the housemates, which one that you not cool with that you probably wish you know what, or probably said I could have been cool with her. None. None. No. What about one that you were cool with and then you watched the episode? Or, I like Paragus so many chances. And I was generally a good friend. Like there's we had plenty of parts of hers which we didn't see obviously because they don't care about marrying that stuff. And I was like a good friend and all she did was talk about me. And I was like, I don't like I don't understand. I didn't start talking about her because I started realizing your ass was fake as fuck. Then I started talking about you. You know what I mean? Everything I said to you, I said to your face. So it's not like I was being disrespectful and saying one thing while I'm in an interview and then to her face, I hate her. No. I always told you what it was and you could never tell me anything. Like, you just what it's like offended me. And um, they didn't show up, but before we got jumped, we spent a lot of time with Amy. Like, all we were doing was hanging out with Amy. That's what it seemed like. They yeah. Had song, and then cool. Amy was so scared that she would be the next target, that she befriended people that she talked so much shit about. Just so it's just like, if I knew that, then that's one person I call these girls. Have enough cojones to talk to us, like, straight on by yourself. Like, there was even points where I was like, I'm right here, what's up? And they won't do anything unless they have an army behind them. 
And give or take, everyone thinks that me and Gabby are bullies because like if I if she needs me, I'm gonna have her back, and if I need her, she's gonna have my back. But we're blood, there's a difference. Right. Like, like why why am I just like why would I go and fight a random chick for a chick that you know what in a week I'm probably not even gonna like you know what I mean? Like if I see my sister arguing with somebody, I'm like, yeah, hold on, bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't care if me and you just ate spaghetti, what are you doing talking to my sister like that? You know what I mean? Like and I think that's why they were so mad, is because they just sorry, your sister was not we get like inside jokes and we like make each other laugh and no one else would get it. And they like, get so mad like if we're getting, because we're like kind of annoying and I don't know why, but it's funny. We're like immature, but not really immature. It's <laughs> strong people say you were bullies or whatever, but one of the things I always saw online was the girls are in Vegas. Why are they spending all this time fighting and hating and No, we went out a lot. House, you know? We went out a lot. You guys just didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's so much you didn't. We went out like every night. There was a point, the only night we, the only two nights we stayed in were the two nights in the beginning when everyone was like, you're following Erica. Those were the only two nights we ever stayed in Vegas. That's it. We went out every single night. Every single night. And in Cabo, me and Danny came late. Or whatever. Long story. Can't really do this. But we went out every night and all you do is see us in our room. We were like, wasted in Cabo. Yeah. Like, wasted. So they showed us like scared little puppies, scared to go swimming with the dolphins because I'm going to get bit by a shark. No, but I was out drinking, having a good time. You just didn't get to see it. That's why I try to tell people, out of three months of filming, you guys see 13 hours plus two reunions. That's nothing. That's like, that's less than like, that's less than 24 hours of filming. It's one day. You guys see less than one day of what we went through for three months. So like, everyone takes the show way too serious. I'm like, take a break. Like, even people that meet us in clubs that hate us, they're like, oh, you're a lot cooler and you're a lot skinnier. I am skinny. Anyone that looked at the house, did you notice that I did their makeup? That's what I thought. And then when I stopped doing their makeup, they all looked like shit. <laughs> like, Especially Erica. Yeah. Yeah. She was like trying to... Pull. Nah, I don't even think y'all helped Erica. I mean, no shade at all, but I don't... <laughs> You did what you could. Sorry for ya. You got the chin and the hair and you did what you could. You know what, they never showed her, but every single day she would look at me like really weird. Like, what's up, girl? And she'd be like, you're so pretty. And right, she's like, less, well, not lesbian, but she's, she's a bisexual, bisexual yeah. too. So but she then, didn't Yeah, but then she'd be like the first one to be like, Tanity, she's so gorgeous. Honey, you think I'm gorgeous. I'm not the only one that thinks I'm gorgeous. Oh, excuse me, skinny. I forgot which one of you um, was that when you went to the uh, psychic and was talking about between <laughs> I mean, I heard about that too, but I didn't know if he was supposed to swallow or put it in Oh my god, it was like the biggest mistake of my life. Too. So do you still I thought it was like such a brilliant plan. I'm like, I went to CBS, I bought him, and I was like... <laughs> and then all of a sudden I noticed, like, I started getting hormonal, like, moody. And I'm already a moody bitch. So I started getting, like, extra moody, and then I started getting chubby, and I was like... Yeah, I was like, my hair was getting really nice, though, but... I mean, it's I really nice now. I mean, yeah. do, you, do you still use it, or... No, but I stopped taking it, but I have water with me. It's just a small bottle What was the first night you had in your mom and your dad said, start some drama? I just said, I love this man. Oh, okay. So he, he's like, just about just, it yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, he knows, what, he knows what we are about to get ourselves into. Oh, okay. And he was, he was just like going with the flow. Like, he pretty much told us, don't go out there and do nothing. If you're going to go, if you're going to do a show like this, then do it up. Also, half his conversation on the phone with Chopped and Screw. Yeah. So, like, you're hearing what they want you to hear, but the conversation right. was probably like. By the way, would you do an all star no. character? I would if the money was right. No, I would not. You may not. I would if the money was right. My thing is, why would I go to Bad Girls Club all star after probably two more rap seasons? And then well, I'm probably going to have my own show. Like, you couldn't pay me, bitch, to be on that shit. Sorry. Uh, you can pay me. Especially no. if I was <laughs> Why would you go from getting over trashiness to go back to being with the trashy That doesn't fans, even make sense. We have fans that are based. Because of bad girls club, so they're gonna want to see us come back and stuff. Yeah, they're also they're gonna, gonna be, if they're genuine fans and they're gonna already be into our all other things. Also, probably yeah. want to see us. We're never gonna see either of this, so it's yeah. just gonna be a circle. I say no, she would say yes. And Jenny going by herself, we all know that's a joke. It would be the Victor Twitch show, just like pretty much the bad girls club. Yes. So what would be in it? Well, I mean, how? Us taking over the world. Hello. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day, so you guys can come with us while we try to do it. Yeah. So pretty much there was Tia and Tamara, Mary Kate and Ashley, and now you have Danny and Gabby. So it's like we're about to take over, man. I mean, we can't be in a Disney film, probably because I was got my ass beat. Obviously, <laughs> like, I had to do a national apology. Like, sorry for everyone who's watching me on Disney. I did get my ass beat. <laughs> so that's not gonna work. But I mean, we can try. So now that the show is over and you guys, like I said, stole the show. I mean, you know, everybody's been checking for you guys. You guys got the most Twitter followers, except for me and combined. It's because we don't pay for ours. Um, you can follow me at twitter.com slash xxodanielle. 
Camera, Anna. Just go away. <laughs> <laughs> and also, like my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash the real Danielle Victor, and we also have a Twins page. Just like the fan one. I'm not going to be honest with you. I'd be surprised Twitter followers you got. Like any celebrities or somebody. Tyga. Tyga follows me. I think that's weird. Drag City, bitch. 10 10 Tiger Pops. 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 Tiger